I've always myself uh, believed in making the audience work. Uh, there is a great delight in, in reading a novel which uh, flows like milk. Uh, we don't have to look up any word in the dictionary, for example. We don't have to uh, look twice at a sentence to uh, work out the involutions of it. But I do believe that uh, the reader should work a little in the sense that he should be made to, uh, to interrupt the flow. And this is probably a characteristic of the so-called literary novel, uh, that uh, language itself should be regarded not as a, uh, a transparent medium, uh, but it should be to some extent opaque. Uh, I think probably the greatest novelists have been opaque writers in a certain sense, in that we've been aware of the language. And we have sometimes been uh, brought up short by the language, by a, by a strange word, by a, a strange rhythm, uh, by a strange construction, and I think almost deliberately uh, a man like Hoban uh, is doing that. Uh, I think he goes a little too far. How the novel did commercially, I do not know, but it came up at the time of, I think, the 1980 uh, Booker, Booker Award. Uh, it, I think it, had a, it should have got the prize. I had a novel myself at the time. Uh, the prize was given to our present Nobel Prize, prize man, the Golding, for a very inferior. The Golding is a very inferior writer. I don't say this out of, out of jealousy, but uh, uh, Golding is a, a writer who uh, has picked on a particular second hand theological thesis that man is probably bad. All right, man is bad. Uh, but Golding says nothing about the other aspects of man. He doesn't love mankind. In uh, Hoban's book, Rid Ridley Walker, there was a much bigger view of man. Uh, a most bold conception of the problems of building a civilization after disaster. And the ultimate boldness was being in being willing to invent a language appropriate uh, to the situation of his novel. Something that Golding would never, would never, has never done. Something that I am scared of doing. But uh, Ridley Walker was a fine example of what the novel can do. The problem again is the, is the audience, you see. Can you persuade an audience to take that novel? This is where we start compromising. It should be more than a couple. It should be read by many.